Okay, so I thought I'd give you some historical notes on the terms data science and big data. And in particular, um, I just want, I want us to talk about the term big data. So big data was coined by two astronomers back in 1997. So it's an old term that got a bit hyped up in around 2012 when the CCC white papers came out um, on big data. And so I'm showing you here the CCC big data pipeline from the white paper in 2012. And it's nice, it's a, 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 a an effort to formalize the scientific process that goes into discovering knowledge from data. And the process is not just data mining, right? That's actually the fourth step out of five. And um, the major steps in the analysis of big data are shown in that flow chart at the top, and then beneath it are big data needs that make the tasks challenging. And so I'm just gonna quickly go through the five steps. So first you have to go through a process of actually obtaining the data. And this might involve like recording how users behave on different websites. So, so you might need like to write a script to collect the data properly. And then the second step is, is extraction or cleaning or annotation where you try to reduce the noise a little bit and basically get rid of the data that you don't directly need. And um, at, at this step, you're, you're turning the data from what's potentially a pile of rubbish into something you might actually be able to work with. And then at the third step, you're gonna set up the data in a way that's sort of directly conducive to uh, to data mining. And so by this point, you have like one central database where, where the information is stored neatly. Okay, and then there's the, obviously the data mining that you're all taking this class for. And then um, at the end, after you do the data mining, you, you're supposed to look at the result and interpret the result and decide, you know, which, whether you like it. And then th at that point, you can, you can go ahead and, and do whatever you want with your, you know, your, your knowledge that you've discovered from the data. Okay, so that's the big data pipeline. And now I'm gonna show you another separate pipeline developed by a separate group of people at a different time. And so it's a second group of people trying to formalize the discovery of knowledge from data. Okay, so let me, let me show you that. So this is the KDD pipeline. So I wanna go through the five, interestingly there are five steps again, and those steps are collect the data, right? Pre-process the data, transform the data into a nice clean database, do your data mining on it, and then interpret and evaluate the results. So, you know, this, this is interesting, right? This, it's the same five steps. And this is way before the CCC had big data as a twinkling in their eyes. Like this was, this was from way back in, uh, uh, in, in 19, 1996 on this one. And uh, the CCC people did not cite the original KDD paper, right? They didn't even know about each other. And perhaps, you know, what that means is, is interesting. Perhaps there's something fundamental about this process because, you know, different groups of people at different times are rediscovering the same five steps. And uh, so hopefully, um, you know, so, so maybe, so, you know, I'd like to think that maybe, maybe these five steps is like something universal, right? Because everybody discovers it on their own. It's like some universal property like pi or the golden ratio or something, you know, something fundamental in the universe. Um, and uh, anyway, this is the KDD process, and hopefully none of you will go and rediscover it and give it a new name. Um, <laughs> but in any case, I, I like this process particularly because of the backwards arrows, right? There's backwards arrows all over the place. And um, it, that's important because, you know, if you take a look at the results and you realize there's something wrong, you need to go back and fix it. And so the backward arrows show you kind of indicate how much repetition there truly is in this data science process. Anyway, it's useful to know that these five steps, steps exist as a data scientist, because um, if you go out into the working world as a freelance data miner, you're going to need to bill your clients for each step in this process. So it's really helpful to, it's really helpful to have this process formalized. Anyway, um, so the, the thing that makes the difference here is not the data mining, right? It's all that earlier stuff that allows you to do the magic that, that, that allows you to do the magic to make that magic happen. Okay, so um, yeah, so it's, it's seems so abstract, but you know, this, this feels like there's something fundamental, fundamental about this. And then again, I wanna just point out that data mining is just part of that process. It's not the whole process. Okay, um, it, it, it's kind of like the climax of a story, right? It, it, but like any story, the setup of the story really makes the whole thing work. Now, the 
Katie, now, KDG wasn't the only game in town before the CCC white papers. This is cr the crisp DM process. Now, this is a cross-industry standard process for data mining. These guys were really serious about formalizing the process of going from um, data to knowledge. And they wrote a 77-page manual on how to do this stuff. And I actually like Chris Diem's process a lot because it includes things like business understanding and data understanding. And those are really important things that you don't want to forget. And I also love all the backwards arrows, again, showing how much how many iterations you have to do within this process on a regular basis. Anyway, so this is the kind of process I tend to think of when I tend to think of um, data science. OK, so I, I kind of like to think of the, 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 the knowledge discovery process sort of like alchemy. Alchemy is where you try to turn straw into gold, except that alchemy doesn't work, and data science does. <laughs> so uh, business understanding is like, it's like, am I, am I really going to get gold out of this? You know, what constitutes gold here? What, what quality of gold do you need? And then data preparation, is, uh, sorry, data understanding, that's like, what are all my raw materials that I'm going to collect? Is it going to be hay or sticks or, you know, metallic dust or whatever it is that I need. And then data preparation um, uh, is, is like, is, is like uh, um, it's like an important step. That's where you purify all the raw ingredients and you get rid of all the junk and contaminants. And the modeling is where you actually do this transformation, you know, um, of, of, the, of the raw ingredients into gold. And that's why people are obsessed with it, you know. That's why other people think it's magic, right? And you know, it, it really, as long as you did the data processing right, this step is generally pretty easy. And it does work like magic, uh, but you'll see it's definitely not magic. And then evaluation is where the appraiser comes and tells you how much the gold is worth. And of course, deployment is where the whole village comes to buy your gold. Okay, so just to summarize, um, the stages of the big data KDD Christian process are the same no matter who reinvents or invents them. Um, you may not need all the stages. You might need to repeat some stages many times in practice. And, um, you know, data science is an iterative process. There are backward arrows on most process diagrams so that it'll remind you that you need to be careful about each step and redo it if, you, if, you're, um, if you've done it wrong. And that's why it's so important to look carefully and interpret the quality of your results. Thanks.